Hello everybody and welcome back to another Scrap Mechanic video. Today we will be learning how to build this survival multiplayer flyer which has two seats, a beacon, a bed, and also three large chests to fit your exploration needs. So the parts that you will need are four level 5 thrusters, four gas containers, three large chests, a bed, a beacon, a level 1 seat, a level 5 driver's seat, 10 bearings, 3 level 1 sport suspension, 2 level 1 off-road suspension, 4 T-pipes, 16 curved pipes, a level 3 gas engine, 4 logic gates, 3 buttons, a switch, 2 level 2 controllers, 2 headlights, and 8 concrete blocks. So first you want to place down your lift, like, place down your lift and just toss your beacon up there. You want the bed oriented so that the wood is facing the right way up so we can place seats and things like that on it. Just like that. We want to place our first seat right there and our second seat right there. We will go under here with our eight concrete blocks and just place it in this pattern like so. And what we want to do is place our logic gates right there and right there. Next, we will just grab our switch and one of our buttons. The switch will go on this side and the button will go on this side. Let's lower this down. And next, what we can do is place our three uh, or our four small pipe tees and they just go in here like this. What we want to now add on is our controllers in the back. So we just place them right there and right there and place the two buttons above like that. Okay, next now we want to add our fuel canisters. So we just place a temporary block right there and orient this and hold down your mouse button and drag it out like that. And then just rotate this like there. On the front, what we want to do is grab our fuel can containers. Then you want it oriented like so, and then you want to move it out one and then have it so that there's one bl block in like that. And then what you want to do is place the second one like, like that. So it'll just line up like that. Our gas engine can just go right here. And let's lift this up and we can now add our chests. So just you want to orient your chests so that they are flush with the sides of the vehicle like so. So they're flush on that side and flush on the other side. Let's pick up this lift, put our chest down right there, and then toss our other chest down right there. Now we will be adding our thrusters using these curved parts and also the lights. So remember to pick up your light right there if you use that. And what we will do is have, these, have a curved piece like that, put our lights on it like so. and then just raise this up and make sure your thrusters are flush with the front and back of your vehicle, just like that. We'll go in the back and do the same, but the back will not have lights. Just place those like that. And then get your thrusters, just make them flush like so. Just like that. And now what we will be doing is adding our steering. So by doing this, we are using uh, suspension glitches in order to actually um, achieve our steering. So what we'll first be doing is adding steering to the side, just like so. Place. And make sure this is on a lift because the, the steering needs to be welded using pipes and bearings. Place like that. Place two bearings right there. Um, these pretty much just line up with the edge of the with the edge of the chest. You can also use sport suspension, but I just used off-road suspension for aesthetics, so they all line up. Place right there. Turn this around, or no, you have to first place your suspension, and then you can place that right there. Next, our next piece of steering will go in the front like so. Place it right there. Put your suspension down and then place your pipe and make sure that it's all green so it welds together like that. And then our last pieces of steering will go in the back like here, 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 and here. So just place your bearings there. Put down your two pipe pieces. Place your suspension. And then just place it there. Turn it. And bam. 
the next part that we'll be starting with is wiring up the vehicle. So we'll be starting with the logic gates. So this, the front left gate will be OR. This one will be XOR. This will be NAND. And then this will be AND, like so. Okay, so now in order to wire this up, what we'll be doing is grabbing this gate here, and then putting this one here, and then like so. And then this gate will lead over to here, like that. So what this logic will do is it will pulse the thrusters when we have switch number four on. So in order to do that, we will hook up our switch to here and our button over to this corner right there. Now what we can do is grab this gas engine, hook it up to the seat, and we want to hook up this gas engine. So it is like so. Hooks up to all the bearings right there. And we want to turn it so that it is in a counterclockwise rotation like that. fix that and then we want to just bump this up to one two three four five six like so and we can just hook this up to the fuel tank right there so just hook up the thrusters to the respective fuel tanks like so now what we'll do is hook up the thrusters to the pull the logic gate so it will go to this one right here the or gate and so just hook up all four thrusters to that like so. So next, for steering, we will be hooking up the, the left side controller to these two bearings, and this controller, the right side controller to these two bearings. And then these buttons just go like that. And now we, what we want to do is change it so that these are just all facing where the blue arrow is going counterclockwise. Let's change these to 45 degrees and max speed. 45 degrees and max speed, like so. And then we can just hook up the left side button to the seat like that, the main uh, driver's seat. And then this second one to there, this third button, this pink one right here. And then the switch will hook up as number four, as so. Lastly, what we need to do is hook up the seat to this last piece of steering right here and make sure that it is oriented correctly. So it should be going clockwise, like so. And then what we want to do is actually um, since this is a level 5 seat, we can go into the bearing settings and change this so that it's actually 5 degrees. And this will con this will control our roll. Like 5 degrees like that. And then what we also want to do is change the speed so that it is down to number, the turning speed is just down to number 2 on both of them. Okay, so now our vehicle is done. So what we can do is just load this up with gas. Just put it in. And test it out. So like that. And so when we enter it, one last thing we need to do actually is put all of the thrusters to load max speed like so let's go around like that and then now we can just hop into the vehicle and what number four does is the logic gate pulsing so when you press number four it starts pulsing like that and while since this vehicle is very very heavy with all of the components even though um what pulsing is supposed to do is keep it at the same height it does not do that but it instead has a slow descent but i find this better in my opinion so that your vehicle, even if you leave number four on, it is harder for it to get lost. And you also have your beacon and your bed on it. What number three does is it makes it so that the thrusters are constantly on, like so. And then W and S control the pitch, like so, uh, by using the gas engine. And then... And then number one and two actually control the yaw so two oh shoot okay so i actually actually what we need to do is we need to fix this okay let's go down here and these actually need to be oriented the other way like so and so it'll these these Bearings right here, they will be oriented in different directions, but in the controller, it is going the same way. 
um, going 45 degrees. So now turn on number four. And then when we hover, like so, number what number one will do is is yaw to the left. Number two will do yaw to the right. And then what uh, W and S do, like I said earlier, it pitches, pitches forward and backward. And then A and D, what they do is it rolls to the left and then D rolls to the right like so. What you can do is go to your controls and then set number one, two, and three. Like um, on my numpad, I have it set to numpad four as number one, numpad six as number two, and numpad uh, zero as number three. And so I can just control it with my right hand as a numpad. But if you do not have um, a full keyboard or if like you have a 10 key list, then you can also do this. So this is like delete, uh, this is page down, and then this is like, um, con like control or something like that. And then so this is me just controlling it using both hands as well. This is easier than just reaching for numbers like one, two, three, and four. Just fly around like so. And you can just fly around like so. Make sure you, what you want to do is have num number four on at all times whenever you're flying. So that like whenever you're slow descending, then you, so like whenever you stop doing number three, then it just slowly descends as so. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and comment down below what you'd like to see next. Goodbye.